Hi everyone, it's Gary Nixon here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Friday the 27th of September. Getting fully into autumn now and as can be expected a real variety of weather on the way in the next week to 10 days. Some very wet weather at times with strong gale force winds and also some quiet chilly days with some frosty mornings and the chance of some fog. The best of that in the middle of next week. Quite chilly though as the wind does turn toward the north. Scottish tops down below freezing for a few days. Now let's we'll start off with a look at those temperatures. Now this is the 850 millibar level. That's the constant pressure level that we often use in forecasting. Corresponds to about 4,500 feet, around 1,300 to say 1,500 metres. And at the moment it's at around the 1,300 metre mark. It varies depending on temperature and the pressure situation. What it does tell us though is that these temperatures shown on this chart represent more or less the highest tops in Scotland and as we go through the weekend it's around three or four degrees at that level but as we just run things on notice how the colder blue colours come down from the north and will drop below freezing as we head onwards into the start of next week. This chart taking you through to the 1st of October Tuesday and by that point Scottish mountains uh, below freezing above around 900 to 1000 metres uh, coldest across the far north. I suspect that Ben Nevis and Cairngorm summit could well go down to around a minus three by this time and that will be the case for a couple of days next week. Wouldn't rule out being a degree or so lower even just temporarily. And overnight we'll see frost in many of the valleys and glens all the way across the British Isles. So some chilly nights ahead, distinctly chilly then, compared to maybe what we've seen for much of the season so far. Just to run that on briefly toward the end of the week, eventually that colder air will be pushed back out of the way as the wind turns more toward the southwest into next weekend. Looking at the charts for this weekend, first of all, though, here is Saturday. We've got low pressure, quite a complicated feature over the North Sea, and it's the little wraparound of a front that's uh, around the Moray Firth that's given us a few headaches over the past day or so. Even now, uncertainty just to what extent that gets into the northern Cairngorms. It may be that it stays out over the North Sea and it's dry across the Cairngorm region. I think towards the far north of the northwest highlands there will be showery rain that could be persistent over a few hours. Much of the highlands for Saturday though in for a pretty good day with light winds. A windier day though across England and Wales, gales, even severe gale force for a time in the morning across the highest tops in Wales. They'll ease down through the day. Showery rain will be quite frequent in the morning. That will tend to fade, uh, particularly across northern England. The next active area of low pressure though is soon sweeping in from the southwest to bring heavy rain to Wales into the evening and night. I'll just run that rainfall sequence on then through Saturday afternoon and evening. You can see how the heavy falls come in across Wales into the evening time. There's some form of tropical energy mixed in within this, so it will intensify the rainfall with the extra moisture loading as that comes in. Really, throughout the night, some heavy pulses of rain sweeping northwards and eastwards, becoming very wet underfoot then across most Welsh mountains, across the Pennines and the lakes as well. And all the wraparound of that low and its associated fronts will be in play across England and Wales through Sunday daytime. Some heavy bursts still around, eventually tending to break up into some showers. Meanwhile, across Scotland, just a scattering of showers and a much better day across much of the highlands compared to England and Wales. And that's the synoptic chart for the middle of the day on Sunday. The low at that point just moving toward the east coast of England. The wraparound of fronts as mentioned. Strong gale force winds around the low. Maybe a bit of a lull briefly in the centre of that area of low pressure. A northeasterly wind turning northerly eventually across the highlands. Uh, will feel chilly. That uh, cold air mass just starting to approach the far north of Scotland. Just a few showers and again a largely dry day for much of the highlands. For Monday, a bit of a window in between weather systems with many places dry over many hours. Uh, some mist and fog in valleys and glens in the morning and a touch of frost maybe across some highland glens. The next low though is already moving in again across Ireland into Wales. That is likely to develop into heavy rain once again as Monday progresses. Timing a bit uncertain. I think that will be in though before daylight ends. It may well be that that also starts to knock on the door of the Peak District for example before sunset. And that low pressure system will be around across England and Wales into Tuesday. Detail is uncertain. Again, there could be some heavy falls of rain for Wales and the South Pennines. Meanwhile, for the northern half of Britain, it's comparatively drier, just one or two showers, which will be of sleet or snow. 
even down to say seven or eight hundred meters across the northern side of the highlands but not many of these many places dry with some sunshine well broken cloud breaks to uh, most higher tops perhaps away from the far north where say for example the cairngorms could just hang with uh, banks of low cloud coming in on that northerly breeze distinctly chilly then by that point uh, we'll be into that much colder air coming down from the north which is still around into Wednesday, albeit by then high pressure is starting to edge in from the west. Uh, still the northerly breeze could uh, feel distinctly cold and the temperatures will stay low throughout with one or two showers in the far north, but many places dry uh, across the board for midweek. That high will slowly edge its way eastward, so Wednesday and probably Thursday should be dry days across the UK. And towards the end of the week, attention will turn towards the Atlantic once again and the movements of Hurricane Lorenzo, which is currently a major hurricane over the mid-Atlantic. It will be tracking more or less northwards, uh, eventually towards the Azores, which could still be affected by quite a powerful hurricane in the middle part of the week. The storm system will then become post-tropical as it gets absorbed into the jet stream as these things do at this time of year quite frequently and it just becomes absorbed into the general area of low pressure over the North Atlantic. The injection though of tropical moisture is always a complicated one for the models to understand especially at a week away so some uncertainty exactly how this uh, shakes out by this time but it's likely that it turns our wind flow back toward the south and the southwest and rain bearing frontal systems start to come back in from the Atlantic with the risk of gales and a generally unsettled trend that then uh, re-emerges as we head into next weekend and even beyond as low pressure systems uh, take charge once again. Detail uncertain, I won't try and get too clever with that, but the likelihood is after a, a dry and chilly spell in the middle of the upcoming week, it's back to being unsettled, wet and windy as we head into next weekend and beyond. So as mentioned at the start, quite a mixture then over the next uh, 10 days or so. Uh, some impacts from uh, heavy rain in the next few days, risk of flooding across uh, parts of Wales and the Pennines uh, from those heavy rainfall events. Be aware of that one. Then quieter and chilly through midweek and then we'll watch what that former hurricane does as we head towards next weekend. Stay up to date then every day with your local forecasts updated on the Mountain Weather website. And I'll update the video again for you early in the new week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.